Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys another 2007 old school RuneScape video. This video is going to be a video response to Bodhi's video, which was about uh, the secrets he had for the rules on RuneScape. And I have some to share with you guys too, but um, I would have released this a lot earlier. I know it's been like two weeks since he asked people to respond to his video because that's when his video was uploaded, but I just didn't have the time because I was working on my Bandos guide and I wanted to cover some other more important topics first, but now that I've cleared my topic list off and I don't know what else to talk about, I figured I'd make a video like this. Uh, but before we get into that, I just wanted to get into my latest drops lately. As you can see on screen, I just got another shitty fucking Sarah Sword, which makes my 14th Sarah Sword and nothing else. Not one Armadillo Crossbow, not one Hilt after 28 trips now. So um, I don't I don't know what your problem with me is, Jagex, but it would be nice if you could just bless me one time and give me something besides a Sarah Omen Sword, which is only like 5 mil now. But anyways, let's get into the topic of this video. Uh, the first rule is offensive language. Um, I can't say I've really followed this rule. As you guys know, if you've seen in my videos, I do have the censor off, so I do swear a lot on the game. But I'm generally a nice guy, and I only use that offensive language towards the actual game when I'm not getting something like a health drop and I'm getting pissed off and stuff like that. I don't normally use it on other players, but if other players are being a dickhead to me, then I will be a dickhead right back, okay? I will roast people pretty bad on this game and talk a lot of shit, and I think it's fun. So, one time I was doing this Bandos trip, and I was doing the Trollheim drop trick where I dropped two sharks and then tell you back to get a full inventory. And I was taking me kind of a while because I was talking to my clan members about the trip. And then I tell you back and my sharks aren't there and all I see is this level 123 scumbag doing a farm run. So it was pretty evident to me that this person took my two sharks, which is let me remind you only 2k and she was a level 123 doing a farm run, okay? So... I called her out on it saying, why did you take my fucking sharks, you faggot? And then she got all butthurt on me like I offended her. How would you know I called you a faggot if you have censorship on? So clearly you had censorship off, which means that offensive language shouldn't be offending you since you have censorship off. And then I also said that you're probably a 40-year-old man in real life, so shut up. And then she got even more butthurt and threatened to report me, which she probably did, but of course I didn't get muted by Jagex because I'm a motherfucking pimp. So anyways, let's get on to the next rule. I've gone on that rant long enough. The next one is item scamming. I've never even tried this because I have common sense. Every time I go into Varrock to trade one thing, some asshole comes up to me and offers me a good offer, and then of course I go to click accept and then the person takes off the offer. That is the most, that is the dumbest thing you could ever do. If you fall for that, you really need to have more patience with your trades because it clearly says that you are trading whatever you're trading and then the other offer is absolutely nothing but then you still proceed to accept by the way i don't think anybody even still falls for that trick anyways so i, I don't understand how people try to pull that one off and it never works so anyways the next rule is password scamming uh not really anything for me to talk about for this one because i've never had my password scammed or anything like that uh i've also never tried to do it next one is bug abuse um, I've messed around a couple times with some glitches, but it wasn't really anything game-changing, just something where your character looks all funky and stuff like that and fucked up. And the next one is 5 Jagex Staff Impersonation. I've never witnessed one this, this one, and I've never tried to do this one because I'm not dumb. Number 6 is Account Sharing and Trading. I know a lot of people who do this, and I've never done it myself, I've never felt the need to, and it's against the rules anyway, so why would I do it? The seventh one, which is the big one, is macroing, botting. Most of us have tried doing that. Um, some of us, however, do not have the tools to do it, and also some of us try to do it, but then it doesn't end up working. Um, one time, I was trying to, all right, I'm gonna admit it, bro. I'm gonna admit it, this is a big one. I was getting sick of all the bots in the game, and I'm like, you know what, if all these people can manage to do it, I bet I can figure it out too. So then of course I go on YouTube and I download this bot thing and then I got hacked, which is pretty pathetic. And I lost only like one mil at that time, which isn't pretty bad. Um, so, that, so that was pretty good. And then uh, 
Um, number eight is multiple logins. I tried to do this, but then I figured out you have to have two accounts to do it, so uh, that didn't really work out well. Number nine is encouraging others to break rules. I've never done this, and I've never seen anybody do this one. Number 10 is misuse of customer support. I don't even understand what that means. Number 11 is advertising websites. Um, I've advertised my YouTube if that counts. 12, real world item trading. Well, a long time ago when I was a really, really noob, probably like level 50, I decided I was gonna buy two mil. This was in a, probably the actual year 2007, and that was like 20 bucks or something, so. Uh, I guess I did that and didn't really make too much of a difference. I mean, two mil was kind of a lot back in the day, but uh, yeah, probably not worth the money. And the last one, 13, asking for personal details. I've never done this, and anybody who does this is obviously a pedophile. It's pretty obvious when people are trying to ask you for personal details, and uh, you, it's usually obvious if they're a pedophile or not. I've given maybe away like my name and stuff like that, but um, nothing too big like my address because I'm not dumb. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, the big ones for me were offensive language and trying to bot up and uh, of course I never really had a problem with offensive language. If you do it I don't really care because shit talking is part of everything like sports and stuff like that and it's fun to do. Um, also there's a censorship op option in the game so I don't even understand why that would still be a rule. But the seventh one macroing I've tried to do it and it's it's not a good thing that you should do because nowadays I heard there they implemented a system where there's this um, thing that can tell if you're botting and every day it gets smarter and smarter so eventually all these bots will be gone and that'll be a good thing and I would at this moment I would never bot and I don't even find the need to at the moment because of all the great ways you can level and just AFK like while I watch Netflix or something like that but anyways that's pretty much the entire video and what I have to talk about if you guys also want to post a video response that would be cool too maybe I'll watch it and also if you have anything to say down in the comment section below feel free to leave a comment if you enjoyed the video then please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed peace